However, let's say you don't want to deal with that just yet. You can always go into setup later. So you would click there, you would use skip, and then you would keep going. Again, you do need an app ID to download anything onto your Mac. So if you guys want to download any apps from the app store, you will need that Apple ID. So I highly suggest not doing this unless you're doing that. Anyways, um, whether you skipped or you created an Apple ID, you would see this screen next. Just click on agree, click on agree next up, then create your account. So you can actually put anything for your account. I can put tech and design, YouTube channel, for example, or I can put my real name if I wanted to. I can put my account name, which can be the same thing as my full name or a different name. So I can put tech design as my account name. It's much shorter. I can create a password. So create a password that makes sense to you. And before we could skip this, however, now we do need to create a password. So I'm just going to create something really, really easy. And you can always do a hint. So you can always give a hint for your password or you can just skip that part. I'm just going to skip that part going to next. So on down here below, we'll continue on. Almost everything that we're doing right now, we can change later on. So it's not a huge deal. However, some things are a little bit difficult to change, such as your account name. Your full name, not really, but your account name, because that's going to be your folder and all that, your home folder. It's not difficult, but it's a hassle to do it. So it's better if you choose something that you really want at this point. So right now it's creating that account for us. And I highly suggest to enable your location services. That way you guys can use Google Maps and all that stuff without any problems. Actually, you can use the maps from Apple themselves without any problems and all that stuff. You can share your stuff or not. I'm going to share everything because I do want to improve my computer. And right here, screen time. This, I would suggest heading it up if this is for your kids. So you can set up right now screen time. However, for most adults that I know, they don't really care how much screen time they spend on their Macs because it's usually for work and that's it. So I'm gonna just put that set up later on the bottom left hand side. Siri, Siri is something that's for sure you're gonna use. And um, if you have an iPhone, you know how it works. You can say, hey Siri, and then it's gonna just go on and answer you. So you can enable, hey Siri, if you want or not. It's your choice. We're gonna teach you how to set it up, but you can always just uncheck this and just continue on. Right now, we're gonna just show you how to set this up. You can choose the voice. Hi, I'm S Hi, I'm Hi. I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. So choose that's the voice you'd like me to use. You can change it later in system settings. So this Siri voice is the most uh, normal one, I would say. Not normal, but what we're used to is voice number four. Or you can just let it choose for you. But in this case, we're just going to choose number four. Continue on. And right now, uh, you're just going to set it up. So we're going to go on to continue. Siri, how's the weather? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play some music. And that's it. So all you guys had to do was read what it told you and that's it. So it recognizes your voice. We're going to continue on. You can share your audio recordings or not. A lot of people don't like this, so you can put that now or you can share it. I'm going to share. Continue on. Such a idea. This is something that's on your keyboard. So all new keyboards have this. Older keyboards with older Macs do not have this. So you can choose to set this up later or you can set it up now. And the way that this works, I'm going to show you. Here's the keyboard. So to set it up, it's going to tell us to put our finger there and we're going to tap it several times. So as you guys can see on my screen, it's now being set up. I'm just going to tap it several times and then I'm going to keep tapping. Just use the one finger, keep tapping there and you're just tapping. You're not doing a clicking sound and um, you're just barely tapping it. You don't have to press down on it. Then you're going to see this continue on. So go ahead and continue. You can choose your look. So light mode would be what you're used to usually. Dark mode is exactly how this shows you. Everything's gonna be dark with a dark background. For this video to work better, I'm gonna have to use light mode. I personally like dark mode though. Or automatic, it's gonna turn on light mode during the day and dark mode during the night. So it's better for your eyes, well, softer for your eyes. We're gonna continue on and here we go. We're basically done with the whole setup and the apps that you guys get on your Macs, the com default apps will be down here below. So let me just show you in this view, it's a little bit easier to show you everything you guys get. So these are the default apps that you guys get immediately and that's it. There's nothing else around it. Let me just open up this folder so you guys can see a little bit more. 
These are another few apps that you guys get, and that's it. So you don't get Microsoft Word, for example. A lot of people ask me if you get Final Cut Pro with it. No, but you do get iMovie, which is identical to Final Cut Pro. They're almost the same thing. And if you look at GarageBand, you get GarageBand, Apple TV. Well, that's just an app. It's a hub. And then you guys get all this other stuff as well. You do get pages, which would be like Microsoft Word. You get numbers, which would be like Excel. And you also get somewhere in here, there's Keynote, which is over here on the far right hand side. That would be like PowerPoint. So those are the main things that you should know. Now let me just get out of this. And to go in there, for example, all I had to do was go into Launchpad and it's gonna show me all my apps. So all the apps that I have there are those. And then we have Safari, we got messages, your email, you guys can go there. Obviously for your email, you can go into Safari can download Google Chrome if that's what you like. I know a lot of people are used to that. And the very first thing that you should do on your Mac is actually update it. Go into system preferences. And then from system settings, all you have to do is type up here in the search, update, software update. And you're gonna check out the latest update. Click on update now, and that's it. Right now you guys can get started using your Mac. And that would be it for this setup video. If you guys would like a full manual, I do have a manual for your new Macs and I do have several reviews about other Macs as well. As far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.